Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and for anyone new to the channel, as always, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. In today's episode, we are continuing on with our VGC Series 10 content and we have a treat for you today. We've got another rental card team and it is from Marcel there. Obviously, the online handle, Maja, uh, has provided the rental team, kindly reached out to me over Discord with the team and honestly, as soon as I saw it, I, it looked fire. It's got some really niche picks on it and uh, some things that I'm really happy to be able to feature finally on the channel we haven't really had a chance to do so yet so big shout out to Marcel for the team and um, hopefully you guys enjoy it obviously here is the rental for the team and just to go over we've got the big star of the show it's going to be Reshiram kind of the main Pokemon here going with the Assault Vest on it a nice option I think on Reshiram gives it a lot of stability in the format the next supporting member is obviously the Torkoal it's a really nice combination with the Reshiram bringing the Sun uh, and it also helps out against Kyogre as well you know with that drought ability overriding the drizzle makes it a little bit more difficult for those auger teams to kind of get the momentum that they normally do quite early on in the games eruption earth power clear smogs a really nice answer to things like Xerneas that do like to set up and again if you are stuck in a trick room the Torko can do an amazing job it's got the Lipod with the prankster ability focus sash just giving it a little bit more staying power on the field and works so nicely with something like well pretty much most things on the team you know with fake tears support sweet Kuhn supports Zapdos, supports the Reshiram mainly and then you've got Sunny Day as well just for that further disruption and solidity to get your weather on the field when you want and foul play is a really nice way of attacking with that stab boost as well based off the opposing Pokemon's attack uh, and then you've got Zapdos with the Rocky Helmet, we have featured Zapdos this one has got the Weather Ball, I think a really nice option in this format especially when you've got the support and cast that you've got a lot of sun on the team, you can take advantage of that Weather Ball and then hit Zashin and things like that, Fire Week Pokemon for really super effective damage. The Rocky Helmet's a great item on Zapdos all in all. Uh, and then you got the Suicune, provides a bit of speed control support. And then we've got the other niche pick on the team with the Maractus, and it is a really nice pick here. It's got the Life Orb for a bit of extra power. It's got Throw Chop, Solar Beam to take advantage of the Sun, and then Spiky Shield, which is a, good, a nice option to kind of punish opponents when they do attack into there with contact moves. And then we have the Weather Ball as well. So it can deal with a, a bunch of the really big threats in the format. You've got Kyle. Yoga. Maractus can deal with, you can deal with Shadow Rider Calyrex and the Zashin all with this one Pokemon. So hopefully it does see some play today. This is the overview of the team. It's been a bit longer than usual, but hopefully you appreciate it. Here's a rental code. We'll have a couple of games with the team now and then we'll wrap up with the rental at the end. So stick around for that. And uh, without further ado, friends, we'll jump into game one of today's episode. First up, we have a Torkoal, Curum White, Zapdos, a Bomber Snow, Gothitelle, and Galarian Molchez team. So, pretty similar team to what we're running in a lot of respects. You know, they've got similar elements to what we have. Obviously, they've uh, got the Curum White over the Reshiram, which is a fusion of Curum and Reshiram. So, it's a little bit of a hybrid. It's going to be a little bit of a pain to deal with. The Assault Vest definitely helps us, but do they have the Assault Vest on theirs? I think Reshiram does a really nice job against the majority of things on this team. Yeah, the Zapdos is going to find it difficult to hit us. Uh, the Torkoal is... Uh, it does have probably access to earth power if it doesn't then it will find it difficult the bomber snow obviously can do neutral damage with blizzard and things like that but we don't really worry too much about that the gothitelle we're not worried about and then the, the galarian moltres i guess can throw out big damage and you've always got to be wary around that pokemon in particular but we do have zapdos to help us with that particular threat i think we're going to need speed control for sure i think we've got lipod suicune reshiram and zapdos and we'll lock in before the time runs out and hopefully we've got enough to kind of get through this team Kiram White's one of those Pokemon you know it's it's so hard it's a little like Reshiram really um it, it's a scary Pokemon you don't see it too often but it can do some big devastating work if it's in the right position to uh this is why we need to kind of try and utilize our snarls if possible um, and speed control as well, which would be really, really, really good for us. Bomber Snow puts a lot of pressure on to Suicune. We do have a fake out from the, the Lipod turn one here if we want to go for that. So I think we could even Sunny Day, to be honest. Probably better. <clears throat> Thing is, we lose Lipod. We do lose Lipod um, if we go for the fake out. 
because of the residual damage. If like if they attack into Lipod here, then we we lose it. So we fake out the residual damage, to take us down. But at the same time, it would then allow something like Reshiram to come in, and we would have the Tailwind up. So it's not the end of the world because Lipod going down does create that gap where we can kind of get that seamless switch in. Uh, freeze dry is the option though for my opponent coming into the Suicune. Gonna do really nice damage there, but uh, Suicune bulky enough to take that um, and we are gonna be able to get our Tailwind up, which is always, always good. So, I think we could Snarl potentially. Sunny day this next turn. It'd be nice to get the sun up, to be honest, on the field. Um, and just go for a snarl. I mean, the Abomasnow probably takes Suicune down here, so the kind of the tables are reversed on our side of the field. You can imagine the Suicune being the one thing that probably goes down here to the Abomasnow. Um, but it depends what the Abomasnow does. Does it go for a blizzard, thinking that, you know, freestyle is going to be enough to get the Suicune here? Um... And then you just want to get the blizzard to get, I guess, some big damage onto the field. Yeah, and it does have the opportunity to miss, which it does. So that's pretty good for us here. So we can get our Reshiram onto the field now. And we can, with the Tailwind up, we can pressure that Kyurem. Um, We're not really worried about the Abomasnow at all uh, r right now. We can go for uh, a foul play into that slot. I think we just Draco Meteor into the Kyurem. We could go for Earth Power. But it's pretty risky. They've got two flyers potentially on their team that could come in, you know, the, the Zapdos and the, the Moltres. So I'd be a little bit weary, wary about, about going for that one. Uh, I think the Draco Meteor is uh, enough. Yeah, we could go. Oof, they're not protecting the Lay Assault Vest. Yeah, oh, that is not doing enough. Hopefully this is enough to knock out the Curum. If we get the Curum here, that's huge for us. Yeah, we do get it. We need to switch Reshiram out to get it back in now after those drops. I mean, we do have fake tears, so we could take advantage of that. Um, a bomber snow, you've got to remember, does get earth power now as well. So that could be a threat that could come out. Yeah, and that's what we're going to see. But with the assault vest, it does mean that we're going to be able to take that a lot better than we would have previously. Um, but at least they're restricted down, which kind of ties up the score at the minute. But... It feels like one of those very offensive games where we're just trading trading attacks at the minute, you know. Um, and the talk call coming in. That makes things a bit more tricky. I mean, we'll take another Earth Power. We could fake Tears. And go for another Draco. But I don't want to take another... Uh, I think we fake tears into the talk hall. I think they're going to go for an earth power. And I think we go for a fusion flare into the Obama snow. Because even though we are minus two, we still take it down, right? It might. Um, and then it sets up Zapdos to come in and, and do a bit more damage to the talk hall in the end game with that, that fake tears. Now uh, the fusion flare coming out into the Obama snow. Going to be more than enough to take it down four times a week. I do love Obama snow as well. It was sad to see. A bomber snow come to the field and then be fainted. And the yawn. Okay, well, we'll take that 100%. All day long, we'll take that yawn. Because uh, now, Tailwind's pitted out. We want to reset the drops on Reshiram. So it's a good excuse to kind of switch it out. Though switching it to Zapdos isn't great. Because potentially going to take a big eruption or heat wave from the Torkoal. And it's Zapdos. Okay. Yeah, so Reshiram can potentially win win out for us. I think rather than get... Uh, okay, let's switch in Zapdos here. I think we have to. We could lose potentially. Um, Zapdos and Lipod this turn. Depends what the Talk Hall does. If it goes for a, uh, another Yawn, then that's, that's alright for us. But if not... At least we got the fake tears onto both targets on my opponent's side of the field. So Reshiram should have an easy time kind of knocking out everything. Do you see the Thunderbolt into Lipod? We managed to take that. And a body press from the Torkoal. Take down the Lipod. That's actually good for us because the Zapdos gets in for free here. Uh, they were kind of ignoring the Reshiram. 
and uh, not taking advantage of the fact that we will have we were kind of forced to switch out there you know and that's what you want to do if you're playing something like yawn you want to really focus down on punishing uh, the slot if, if your opponent is gonna gonna switch out you know sometimes they don't sometimes they do but if they do you can really catch that now with the sun up i think we just go for fusion flare and then we go for a thunderbolt into tokol i have to worry about yawn still because that could still be something that comes out from the the opposing tokol thunderbolt in minus two probably still not going to pick up the knockout fusion flare should get that zapdos um i wouldn't imagine the zapdos is Assault Vest, so we may see the Zapdos Detect here, Yawn come out from the Tall Call. Oh no, just a Thunderbolt, straight into our Zapdos, which is fine. So yeah, the Fusion Flare under the Sun, minus two Zapdos, there's no way this doesn't knock out. This knocks out about 20 Zapdos, I swear. And then the Thunderbolt into the, the Tall Call, which probably will Yawn this turn, but I think it's just a little too too late to, to try and utilize that, because another Thunderbolt and we get the Paralysis. It's a little unfortunate for my opponent, but they are revealing. Is this a citrus? Citrus berry, I would imagine, yeah. Just a citrus berry. And there's the yawn into the rest room, but that's fine. They're probably going to protect this next turn, but I mean, Zapdos in this, the, the, the ideal position now where it's going to be able to just knock out the Torkoal, regardless of what happens. So we've kind of locked this one up. Had this little panic there where the, the connecting message came up and I was like have they got have they got another Pokemon we forgot about uh, the fourth Pokemon but then no they've they've just got the talk off it has happened in the past friends it has happened it has happened I've been like ah oh, this is we're on easy street now and then your opponent pulls out their last Pokemon restroom going to sleep from that yawn unfortunately we couldn't really do too much about that but like I say we got the the Zapdos now and that fake tears from the live pod really kind of helping us to clear the field uh, just make this a lot easier for us a restroom stays asleep for a turn and Zapdos gonna be able to close this one up and uh, another Pokemon very close to my heart is Zapdos so very nice way to finish for this first game today very good game to my opponent and um, a nice win for the team to kick off with today so we will move swiftly on friends to our second game of today's episode <laughs> next up we have E playing a team of Incineroar, Tapu Koko, Porygon 2, Groudon, Entai and Venusaur really nice looking team to be honest and I know Groudon's picking up a bit of usage over in Japan recently so it's, it's gonna be just a matter of time before that kind of seeps over full force into this side of the world so we've got you know the Groudon obviously going to be a trick room variant taking advantage of the Porygon 2 you got the support set up there with things like Incineroar you've got Sleep Powder on Venusaur takes advantage of the Groudon Sun with the chlorophyll ability Entai going to be a bit of a pain because it kind of speeds outspeeds with the majority of things on our team and can snarl us uh, obviously has that sacred fire as well and you can't discount the fact that it could be scarfed a lot of players kind of tend to run scarfed Entai just to get those quick uh, big hit onto the field early on and then the Tapu Koko as well is an interesting one which uh, kind of contradicts any sort of sleep support for the team especially with the electric trainer but it does give my opponent a way to disrupt opposing terrains I think we could go Suicune because uh, it's got the raw it's got the tailwind uh, two nice options there I think we bring Torkoal and then I think we bring Reshiram as well and then we lock in with these I would have liked to have bring Marak M M M K M I can't even say it can't even say it. the grass type we got i know i know i know i know leave comments you can you can you can destroy me down in the comments for it <laughs> maractus we got it we got it it's on the tip of my tongue it's like a rack it all over again but it's just not as hard and i should not be forgetting it okay we're gonna see coco we're gonna see p2 come out for my opponent i mean we've got a pretty easy play here where we can stop the trick room if we want we can just roll out the, the p2 whether or not they pick up on that you've got to worry about the fact that p2 could have thunderbolt as well which it probably does to take advantage of the electric terrain uh it gets the download boost and attack thankfully though so that's that's good but um, the big threat here to, to, for us in particular is is that type of coco you know um <clears throat> I think, like in all honesty, I don't want the, the, the Trick Room going up because the Trick Room goes up, it gets very difficult against something like the Groudon, uh, in all honesty. So I think, um, yeah, we roll, we roll, roll the P2 and just fake out. And then we can adjust the next turn if we want to. So Coco getting flinched by that fake out. Shadow Ball coming out. Was that into Suicune? 
Okay, well, we'll deal with that. I mean, they're getting damage off, which is nice for them, you know. And uh, we're just kind of checking that, that trick room. But... Uh, not... Not amazing, not amazing. But I mean, we, we're not threatened by we're not threatened by the sleep, right? So it's not terrible. It's not terrible. Um, I don't know if I want to set up this sunny day yet. You know, um, problem is, I mean, we could do we could go for a far play into Venu just to get some damage off onto it. We still got our sash there and just switch into Reshiram here. Especially with the Assault Vest, we'll be able to take things like Thunderbolt, Dazzling Gleam, Sleep Powder. We've got, you know. The works will be able to to work with that and with the like i say the electric train on the field right now we're not really worried about the the sleep powder the best case scenario here for us would be the venus or going for something like a leaf storm into the sweet moon slot to kind of prevent the potential tailwind going up um but it's going to be grass not which is still uber fine uber uber fine um, and revealing that life orb there. So foul play is going to do a good chunk of damage onto that Pokemon. And now we got the combination where we can go fake tears into Groudon, and we can go for the fusion flare into that slot. They may protect and get the P2 in on the on the Venu here, so we may be missing a trick here. But if we can get rid of the Groudon now, that's that's so huge for us, so huge. Earth power, yes. As long as the Groudon's not faster than us, which you wouldn't expect in a kind of a trick room sort of orientated team. Oh, we outspeed. Can we get the knockout, please? The sun's up. We should be able to. Sun's out, guns out. There we go. Groudon down. That makes things so much easier for us. That was that's a bit a bit tense that that uh, that moment there. But we still got plenty of things for us to worry about. But as long as this electric train's on the field, I don't think we need to worry. So much. The Venusaur is a bit of a problem, of course. Um, everything hits. Everything hits. Uh, Suicune, doesn't it? Um, can we pull a double switch, maybe? Because I think... Um, hmm. Torkoal coming in. Torkoal is kind of better just to bring in off the bench, really, as a kind of cleanup crew Pokemon. I'm completely honest. I kind of want to get... Re Thing is, I want to get Lipod back onto the field. But I think a foul play with plus recoil damage is probably going to be enough to get the Venu here. I'm completely honest. And it's going to go Earth Power. And we're probably going to see Dazzling Gleam. Oh, we know the Coco. Okay, we're going to see Grass Knot. That's a nice... That's a nice play. That's a nice play. I mean, let me take it, but... Um, have we got a Berry? We have got a berry. Is it going to be enough for us to take the Dazzle? Potentially, I think we could. Get the Foul Play. Is it enough with that recoil damage? Hmm, not quite. Dazzling Gleam going to take Lipod down to its Sash, for sure. Um, okay. We don't have... Well, what we could do is... Or Torkoal. Uh, do we want... Yeah, we want to bring Torkoal in. Uh, and we try and get a Tailwind up. We're not going to. We're going to... We're sacking. We're sacking Suicune here. We are. But the fact is, if we can keep that fake out present from, from Lipod, I think that's going to be something that really helps us out in the late game. <clears throat> I'm probably going to see Grass Knot Dazzle again. And Torkoal going to be able to take that. Problem would be if my opponent kind of... Goes for the T bolt, expecting another switch. The Venu finally gone down, which is good. We just got the P2 to deal with, which makes things extremely difficult. First, but uh, Volt Switch coming out, yeah. That's a nice play from my opponent. That is a nice play. So P2 and Tapu Koko. I don't think the uh, the P2's got Thunderbolt. It does have Shadow Ball does get the special attack boost which isn't great but we've got clear smog so we can get rid of that tapu coco going to come back in though um yeah we could potentially just fake out earth power the coco would probably do it and then rush around versus because the coco didn't reveal 
Cocoa hasn't revealed Protect yet, and it's likely that it might be a Salt Vest, you know? Could be a Salt Vest. It's just whether or not I want to just go for potentially like a fake tears into the P2. Because then when Reshiram comes back onto the field, it's going to have a way easier time dealing with the P2. And I think, honestly, it's probably a better idea doing that. Um, rather than going for the fake out, the Coco, if it has got Protect, it might Protect here. It hasn't got Protect though, because it would have Protected before the Toko. Do get the fake tears into the P2, which is useful. So I hope this kind of is the payoff we need at the end. And get the Volt Switch. Yeah, and Shadow Ball. Ooh, we're gonna get another one. We're gonna get another one. The sunlight fades. Just fine. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Okay. Can we take. I don't think we'll take uh, a Volt Switch. Uh, but we can get another fake tears into the P2. Put it down to minus four, which should mean anything that touches it that's special should just knock it out. Hopefully. Dazzling Gleam, yeah. Dazzling Gleam and Shadow. I will take a Shadow Ball. So we'll get a free Earth Power. It's not free. It's not free by any means. But we'll get an, an Earth Power we should do. Ooh, maybe not. Or maybe not. Not with this, this plus. Oh, we do. This Torkoal's a beast. It's a beast. Yeah, it's definitely a Soul Vest. It's 100% a Soul Vest. What are we talking about? What are we chatting about? There's no way that Coco is anything but a Soul Vest. Try attack is a little bit iffy, but um, <clears throat> what we want to try and do is stall out these electric terrain. The electric terrain has got three turns. There's a lot of stalling out to do. Um, hmm. I could protect this turn and go for fusion flare. Is it going to be enough? Is fusion flare going to be enough? I don't think Coco's got enough to take Reshiram down two hits though. So fusion flare. We'll protect the call. Because if they go dazzle. Yeah, which they do. And we should take a try attack as well. This is neutral. We take that pretty well. How much is this gonna do? It would be better if the sun was up. That would guarantee the knockout. But we don't need the sun. Who needs the sun when you got a Reshiram? up? There we go. A Reshiram room and Lipod. That's all you need. Ha <laughs> um, So that pretty much seals the deal for us here against a pretty scary hard team Reshiram coming through and the Lipod being so pivotal in both of these games. So pivotal with that fake tears, you know. It's really just been uh, able to, to really put... put. Oh, we even take it with Torkoal. There we go. Reshiram going to be probably enough. Yeah, to get it. So... Um, yeah, just putting targets in, in, in positions where we're able to pick them off. And uh, we've had two amazing games with the team today. So, uh, Marcel, I can just give you a huge shout out. Thank you once again for providing us with the rental. I've had probably one of some of the most fun I've had playing Series 10 with this team in today's episode. So uh, I'm going to be continuing to play this team for a lot longer. So I would advise every single one of you to give this rental code a try and uh, what we'll do now is jump over and remind you all of the rental team for today right friends here is today's rental team like i say a big shout out to marcel for passing this rental team over to us and kindly sharing it with the community and i hope if you do try it out you have a lot of fun with it i'm guaranteeing you if you play this team you're going to have an absolute blast playing it on the ladder so give it a try have a lot of fun with it it is an incredible build and he's done a great job at putting this one together uh, a little bit sad that we didn't really get to see much of the Maractus today. Um, it's probably the only Pokemon we didn't really get to feature, which is kind of the one thing that I really wanted to see a lot more of. But obviously, the matchups today weren't as pro like uh, the, the Groudon one could have been, but I think the Pokemon that we picked in the end obviously worked out for what we kind of faced. Maractus could have done very well against that last team that we faced, but unfortunately, we didn't bring it. But uh, it's still something to try out. If you do try it out, though, let me know down in the comment section what your thoughts are on this spiky grassy plant pokemon that looks very cool and kind of weird at the same time always weirds me out when i say it in pokemon games but that's another story for another time 
Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, friends, uh, have a great rest of your day. Uh, we'll be back later in the week with more VGC Series 10 stuff. And uh, hopefully you you catch, check that out when you can. So have a great rest of your day. And uh, more importantly than anything else, take care of yourself. And I'll see you all for another episode very soon. So until then, take care and bye-bye.